busy this morning. Like, like cook dinner. Much later. So I cooked dinner Thanks, with man. salmon and asparagus, rice, and carrots. And some pasta? And some pasta, I forgot about that. And Alex bought some Mr. Use. That's, That's like half of it. And then I also made pumpkin bread. And then mm -hmm. the rest will meal prep. Morning, everyone. So, so it's Sunday, so I'm making breakfast, but I'm making breakfast burritos right now. Oh, is this breakfast burrito for later? You got a cruise ship all the way down here. You got a marathon, a half marathon, and a 5K going on here. here in San Diego. I'm back in my balcony right now and there is a marathon still going on. But I just wanted to enter this vlog. Today it is October 24th. Sunday morning has been a great morning so far. Um, Alex is over there. You can't see him because they're reflecting glasses but it's around noon right now. I think they're just finishing up the last of the marathon so we may be able to go out to catch the farmer's market. But hopefully you can hear me because I know that it's kind of hard to hear. We're cleaning up a bit inside, so it's a little bit loud. Huh? What's the plan, Stan? I'm going to the farmer's market, but I don't know how we're going to get around all this uh, traffic. traffic. This is the outfit of the day. I always wear this freaking jacket from... It's actually from Aerie, but I bought it... I bought it off Goodwill. I'm just going to bring this basket in case we need some storage for stuff. I also painted my nails black for the first time since like middle school. Gives me Halloween vibes. What are we looking for, babe? Hot sauce? We're gonna look for some hot sauce. And maybe some We're gonna look for some popcorn. popcorn. Some flowers. Cute. Look at them. Oh, look at some bunch of flowers. So cute. Flowers? Oh, wow. It's over here. Cute, cute. So I would say quite a successful. So I would say we had quite a successful farmer's market trip. We got these flowers. Mm -hmm. Alex got these flowers for me. We're gonna put on the table and got we this also thing got for my backpack to prevent back sweat because I get really sweaty. And then we also got two kombuchas, which we already drank. Mm -hmm. Those were really good. It was really fun. We haven't been to a farmer's market in quite a while, so I thought it was exciting and new. But right now we're gonna get a car wash and we're gonna get some gas. Just doing all the Sunday things, getting gas. 
think after this we're gonna go get a car wash because let me show you how terrible my car looks right now. I don't know if you can see how bad it is on the front. Like, but we did have quite a good weekend, I will say. We went to yesterday. We went to the pumpkin patch, which was in Liberty Station. We also got some drinks there. It was such a fun vibe. And after that, we went to get hot pot, and then we went home. I think today we're gonna go ahead after we get gas and so then I wash my car. We also need to get gas for Alex and probably wash his car too. And then after that, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, to, we're gonna get some water from the grocery store and um, I have no idea what we're gonna eat for lunch because it is 1 p.m. but we did have a big breakfast because Alex cooked breakfast this morning and yeah i don't know i love the vibe of san diego but it's it was so busy this morning like everyone's out and about um we were initially gonna go to brunch but i think i'm glad we opted out because we ate quite a bit yesterday so yeah i was also thinking of doing a 5k now that i had actually started running i ran a 5k this morning on the treadmill and it wasn't bad at all so maybe we'll try that I know there's one on November 6th, so maybe we'll do it, but we shall see. Um, so unfortunately I have work tomorrow, and then I work four days this week, and then we're gonna go to three meters. Are you excited, baby? Yeah. Your car what? has a very big tank. It's a 15-gallon tank. I didn't know that. I've been to the Soapy Joe's before, but the first for everything. What do you think I should get? That's not as busy as I thought it would be. Awesome. Much, much, much later. Check out the tacos. Taco Tuesday came early this year. This is the vibe. We're gonna start carving this pumpkin. We used this really dull knife. We're watching Harry Potter. I mean, I'm gonna try to use this ladle, but we'll see. I just got back from work. I am cooking up a storm here. I was gonna actually go swimming, but there were two men in the jacuzzi upstairs and I was like, never mind. I'm just gonna tone my hair and go ahead and cook, but yeah, work has been pretty good. I, I honestly do all my homework there. So I finished my essay, I did my discussion board, my replies, all that jazz. So right now I am gonna finish cooking. I have some chicken, some shrimp, and then I cut up some carrots for my, for my curry. And I made some vegetables cut up and then, you know, all that good stuff to go on top of my taco later on. But yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy because I was driving back from Chula Vista, which is where I work. And I drive back and I see the skyline of the city and I used to drive to that every single day um, before I lived in the city. But now it's crazy because I live in one of the um, high rises. But it's super exciting stuff. Um, it is week seven of this assignment. I am psyched for a Halloween weekend because we're gonna be seeing Elenium this weekend. I'm having the hardest time selling my freaking escape tickets, but honestly, I don't even care about it anymore. If we, if all else fails, I'll just go Saturday 
instead of the Dream Eaters because the Dream Eaters lineup kind of sucks for a Saturday at least but I was gonna say something oh driving back from work I have like all these thoughts when I come back from work and it's funny because I used to come back home stressed from work maybe I'll multitask and talk to you while I while I make this um, but yeah, I used to come so stressed from work. Don't mind my unmade bed. I didn't have the time this morning. But nowadays, I am so excited to come home, to cook, to do my own thing. And it's really cool, honestly. Because I have come to the realization that us nurses we oftentimes like hold so much like weight of our, all these patients burdens but now that I just swap patients it's super chill and and now that I like don't carry that burden of, you know, all the patients and their loved ones and all that stuff that they go through. It's so much more stress-free and I'm like so much happier on this assignment. Um, I will say that obviously COVID operations will not be forever, forever permanent. Obviously, it's still going to carry on for the next, like, I would say for the next, like, few months, maybe a year or two. But it's been a really good experience so far. I know some people are extending their contracts, but I, I don't think I really want to right now. Just because I have some duties to fulfill at home. Is it time to move on to the next big thing? I don't really know. I really need to tone my hair also. This is my toning stuff, which is kind of gross that I'm trying to like do four things at once. I'm cooking like two different dishes, the Japanese curry and then the tacos, and then I'm also trying to sew my hair. But I did want to talk to you guys like a little bit before I close out this vlog because it's been such an interesting experience that I never thought that I would have had. And I think especially nowadays, I am learning to just be so much more independent and happy with where I am. Um, regardless of where that is and you know be more present in the moment as opposed to constantly you know thinking of the future although I still am like that and I think my personality will always be like that um, I think I'm just like a lot more content but look at this shirt it looks so freaking good I'm excited to make my tacos I will show you them later uh, but don't forget to subscribe because I have some exciting videos regarding my two years of nursing, things that I wish I knew as a new grad, um, how my travel assignment's been going, um, just things that I learned as an ER nurse. But yeah, super exciting stuff coming up. If you aren't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. We got the tacos going, we got the shrimp, the chicken and then we get this i'm obsessed dude i'm like so obsessed with making these